Welcome to Intercon Labs. Today, we're giving our NEMA rated control panel enclosures the home alone treatment. The team will be testing a few of the most iconic traps in the movie, including the paint can pendulum, the iron drop, and what we like to call the hothead. Remember, these tests are just for fun. At Entercon, we take the safety and quality of our product seriously. Before we dive in, make sure to like and press that subscribe button for a world of innovative experiments and informative content on control panels, switch gear and controls, and all things critical power. Hey everyone, I'm John and this is Anthony, our Regional Sales Manager at Intercon. Today's episode of Intercon Labs, we're going to be focusing on our favorite prank holiday prankster, Kevin McAllister from Home Alone. That's right, we've got our very own control panel intruders and a series of traps straight out of the movie. So let's see these enclosures can withstand a little holiday mischief. First up is the classic paint can pendulum. This isn't just about reliving a movie moment, it's about testing the surface durability of the enclosure to absorb and distribute the impact energy. So just like the movie, we have our typical one gallon paint can. It's about 13 pounds when it's filled with paint. Uh, we substituted that out for Orbeez today, just to make it a little more spectacular and dynamic when we uh, impact. So in the movie, Kevin takes it up about one story above the wet bandits and drops it. We're actually gonna take it up to about uh, 16 feet up to our raptors and uh, launch it there at our mark back here. Heads up! In the movie, Kevin releases the paint can from the top of the stairs as the wet bandits are halfway up. It's estimated that the 13 pound cans will be traveling at a speed of 20 miles per hour with a potential impact force of 12 kilonewtons. One YouTube comparison states, that would be like getting bare knuckle punched by Mike Tyson twice at one time. surface area really took the impact uh, from the can and that's really what we were looking at is you can see here uh, what we have going on is the the can smashed but the enclosure didn't uh, at all so the surface area of the smash um, this test again NEMA 4 rated enclosure uh, this is the way to go if you're on a work site and somebody smashed into this uh, this is going to take uh, this is going to take a little bit of a beating <laughs> Who can forget the iconic iron drop from Home Alone? It's time for a little test of impact resilience. And this is no ordinary laundry day. We're dropping this iron from a story high just like Kevin did. But instead of Mars face, we've got our trusty enclosure at the target. While it may appear like the paint can test, the iron drop presents its own set of challenges. The cylindrical paint can disperses its weight across a broad area, testing the enclosure's ability to dissipate energy and resist significant denting. In contrast, the iron, with its compact and irregular shape, directs the impact force onto a more concentrated point. This focused stress could lead to punctures or localized deformation of the enclosure's metal surface. One, drop. scratch right here for where that impacted. This, uh, this enclosure is really holding up to the test and uh, we're going to be moving on next but you know impact resistance this one I'm going to say it definitely is a solid choice to go after the NEMA 4. Um, you know, if you're on the site and something bumps into it or something gets dropped on it this thing is definitely taking a beating and uh, 
which one was brand new. So one of my favorite scenes in Home Alone is when Joe Pesci gets lit up by that blowtorch and he has to run around the house and dive into that big pile of ice to cool himself. Today, we're gonna mimic that with our control panel. So we've got our blowtorch set up here. Let's see how our control panel enclosures handle extreme temperatures. Just like Harry's head, we're gonna go from extreme heat into ice cold and see if there's any warping or any damage that occurs to the, the enclosure. So remember in the movie, it's all about the surprise element, but here we're focusing on getting it as hot as possible. This kind of test simulates thermal shock, a phenomenon where materials are subjected to a sudden change in temperature, causing different parts of the material to expand or contract at different rates. This differential in expansion can lead to stress within the material, potentially causing cracks, warping, or other forms of damage. We're gonna take this and now we're gonna try the other extreme. We're gonna throw it right into here and see if there's any more breaking. So the results of our blowtorch test, really, you can see the enclosure is burnt. Um, the outside, you know, it's cosmetic in some ways, but the paint did come off. Um, we got this up to about 750 degrees. Um, and then it did start on fire. What you did, what you'll see in the video is actually uh, on the playback was the gasket on the inside started to melt and uh, were, were lit. So that's where the flames are coming out of the side here. So to the blowtorch test, you know, about 700 degrees, direct flame, this thing uh, did not make it. So I would say this was kind of a fail on the, on the enclosure part. Um, but once we threw it into the uh, ice, um, we didn't see any warping on this on this panel at all. So that thermal shock that typically happens going from extreme hot to extreme cold, uh, the NEMA 4 really held up well on that. It's, uh, it's a direct spot of the, you know, the flame. And a lot of that might have to do that we did the corner where it was closest to uh, the gasket instead of something like in the middle. Uh, but you know, for this, I'm going to be on the fence about it and say, I think, I think Kevin won on this one. Well, today was a blast recreating Home Alone. So from uh, paint cans to blow torches, we put that Neva 4 enclosure through a lot. Thanks for watching this episode of Entercon Labs. Stay tuned for more creative testing. Remember, for the best custom control panel manufacturing, choose Entercon. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal.